Okay, so what we have here is a PWM and it's very slow. You will, if I turn it off, you can see maybe, I don't know if the video shows it, but basically it is flickering rather than actually being a frequency. Okay, if I can just, I don't know, no you can't, I don't know, who knows. Anyway, so it's the frequency is 25-ish hertz. You know, as in half of mains frequency, rough, roughly. Okay. And it's steadily keeping the temperature at 52 degrees. It's around about 50. It's just heated up slightly. I've got a small fan here, which is basically a processor fan, just cooling it. But that's just to make sure it doesn't start running away. That's all. It just keeps it cool. And it's stabilising. The current is... 13 amps, okay, and you can see the spindle is turning, okay, it's not turning fast because it's a partial one, 30 amps, we're running from a 12 volt battery, so now we have, and that's, that's 53 degrees, not moving much, and I can speed it up, okay, you can see the current increase, there you go, Make it sort of around about there. You got 17. So you can see the. Oh, it's a bit all over the shot now. Let's just turn it down so it gets it in. Yeah. Temperature is about 54 degrees. With a proper heat sink, obviously this won't even get. It'll, it'll be lukewarm. And there is no heat sink. It's just blowing some air across the top of the uh, the thing. Right. And what I'll do is I'll slow it down so that you should be able to see it. There you go. So that's actually flickering now. Right, the current is 10 amps. That's obviously an average current, basically based on the fact that it's flickering. Uh, the frequency is okay. And let's try and take it down there. So if we put the mark on it, you can see the temperature is 50. In fact, it's dropped a bit, 53 degrees. And so we've got there to there. Okay, and it, it's visible, okay, and the frequency is 17 hertz, less than 20 hertz, right? So that'll be more of a rumble if you actually had it in a real car. We're passing 13 amps using a very low frequency, and it's holding at 50 degrees ish. Do you know what I mean? It's not moving. I mean, all the time we've been talking, it's basically held it between 53 and 54 degrees. Spindle is turning. Now, as you can see, you'll be able to see it turning. Now, this motor is designed for like 40, about over 40 volts, and we're running it on 12, so it's only just managing to turn. Even with the full voltage, it doesn't go at full speed. So we're pumping in 13 amps at what is actually 11 volts. Battery voltage dropped a bit, we discharged it. Okay. So we're pumping in quite a reasonable amount of current into that through the IGBT. And it's not even getting warm. Now, I did this at a higher frequency, okay? I did it where it was running at about 1K, right? Which is obviously like 100 times that. And this thing really got hot. I mean, it, 90 degrees, easy. And it was still going up when it was on a partial current like that. Okay? As soon as you put it up to full current, which is where it basically turned on all the time, right? Which it can do. Okay, so here we go. So that's stopped it. Now if I now connect the gate, so that's now on full current, okay, which is about, about 22 amps, okay, yeah. and that'll come down obviously because it's just turned on. I'm going to put it on the partial, there we go, it's dropped didn't it from 55 to 50 watt, it's still sort of toggling. So it's having very little effect now of having a partial power going through it. Whereas before, because it was partial power and it was spending an awful lot of time switching, heating the poor thing up. So that, I mean, you could run that all day. You could run it at that speed all day. And it wouldn't blow anything. Bear in mind... Oh, it's blowing gone off, hasn't it? Bear in mind that we are actually pumping... Okay, so it's 8 amps now. We're putting 8 amps 
okay, albeit at 11 volts, through this thing, that's 8 amps. Yeah, that will heat it up. This, this will actually be getting warm inside, but the IGBT, 50 ish, no, it's 53 now, isn't it? I'm going to stop because my battery's discharging a bit now, and even this guy's complaining because it's been on too long. But that's, you know, that's a low frequency P P PWM, and it really works. Cool.